and your best behavior. And now and share screen. So the results are in, but um, they won't be, let's probably see that, they won't be um, ratified until tomorrow, until the cards are seen. But anyway. Um, All right. I bring you afterwards, Treasure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go do a quick run through of what we've just covered. So, um, ladies, one to sign in. Just move you down there. Um, we click on competitions and open competitions. So we can see straight away that all the cards are in, six signed in and six scored in. This may not be the case because some people may not have returned their cards, they may be non-returns or, so this is what you have to kind of look out for or check for. Um, so we double click on the competition and what pops up initially is the list of people who are not in the competition. So to get the people who are entered into the competition, we, we hit analyze and we have, see there's the six. So just as a, um, just to show you how to do it, we're going to presume Marion Barry hadn't signed her card. So as we go through the process, we're going to disqualify her. So we're going to apply now and we are popped up with a wizard that is set up to, to run the report and do the calculations for us. So generally speaking, you just click on next. So we have next, it's a handicap qualifier. When the status changes during the year, when we come into winter, that tick will be gone out of it. So you won't have to worry about ticking it or unticking it. If the competition was abandoned, that, that you, you would tick that um, box uh, because those who did play in an abandoned competition, their handicaps still stand and qualify. So we hit next. So was there any disqualifications? Yes, there was. So it was Marion Barry. We highlight Marion Barry and we click on next. And it's giving us up the list of rules that may have been broken. And we can see it was signing card. So scoring, signing and returning card are all 3.3B, rule 3.B. So we highlight that and we click on next. And then we click on next. So we do not aggregate. There are some competitions that we do aggregate on, uh, one being the Lady Captains when we play on Tuesday and, so and Saturday, um, and also on medal when we have an alternative day. So, but we are not aggregating today. So we click on next. Um, so have some scores been kept on a different database? No, we never use that. And we click on next and we have click on net results. We would always have a net result. We do have gross at times, but it's only one score that's, uh, that is the gross, which is usually first, second, third. Um, and generally speaking, we calculate that by hand and, you know, by looking at the cards. And it's generally speaking, you know, those who have a handicap between one and 10 in and around there. Or, I presume you can only select a net or gross, one or the other. It won't obviously allow you. No, it won't both. be the combination. And that's that a fault, you know, I don't know in the system, but it won't do it anyway. No. Okay. So we click on next and we're, we just click on next to finish. So it's now going to close the competition for us. I'm going to, it's going to tell us who's going to, who's in, um, who's in first place, etc. But we have to ask it first of all. So what first comes up is our standard scratch, which in this case is zero. So it's what's zero? What's what's our standard scratch? Is thirty five points? Is it in Newlands? Thirty six. Thirty six and seventy two. So that's the standard scratch um, that has been calculated there. Um, it'll, when we do the report, it'll be at the bottom of the report. So there's, you don't really have to take note, but you can, it, it will just, um, it indicates at this point what the standard scratch is, but you'll see at the end of the report that it also does this as well. So I'm gonna click okay. So just give it a second now. So if you remember this, it pops up these two reports and we're looking for the one that's not scratched out we're looking this is the one that's going to be posted to master scoreboard okay so we highlight it and if you remember 
we edit it and edit the results. So it is at this point that we start telling the system how many prizes we want to give out. So in this instance, it's just one, but in other cases, it can be many, many more. Okay, so we'll just go through that. So next, so this is the title that's going to go on the report and it's net scores. Uh, if, you, if you wanted, if that was a medal competition, it'll default, the, the, the right um, one will default there, but um, so you really, you really never have to change that. We don't so, need to put a date or anything? No, the date okay. will automatically come up on Master Scoreboard. So we click on next and it's ladies and that will always be ticked. Um, you, you do not really ever have to look at that either. Um, next, this is where we select our winners. So we only have one winner. Um, and we don't want to show division results because we don't have enough players, but I'll come back to that in a minute. So I click, I take that tick out and then it says show top 10. Now the jury's out, and it's not really out. The ILGU have instructed us to print everybody's score because we are signing our own cards and for transparency, the ILGU mm -hmm. want us to publish everything so mm -hmm. that your card goes up people who are playing with you can see your card and, and see your score and that now i know we check them off at the at the end uh, you know when we play but this is an instruction from the ilgu so if that tick was to stay in there we'd be just showing the top 10 results in each category if there was 90 people so so if you had 15 points last saturday week like i did <laughs> you wouldn't probably show in that but if i take that tick out everybody shows mm. okay now at the moment it is an instruction from the ilgu so we have to go with that so for the most part we will always be um, including the result on master scoreboard mm. okay so that tick will always be ticked there so that's fine so we click we go to next um highlight players and results we don't do that so we're just going to click on next um show notes we don't whatever's there will show um so it's really next 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 there's very little to do and then we click on finish now i'm going to undo this so result details have been saved so when i click on okay it'll go off and do its work and it'll pop up the, the report so here's the report ladies 18 home now you see Moninia murray is has come in um as the winner instead of was Monini the winner no. yes no, she was, was, yeah but, yeah Marianne, yeah she had 38 and marion had 35 and rule 3.3 b number of cards processed and also if you go down um it'll give you there's the 73 36 points 73 is our standard scratch yeah um, and changes in handicap if anybody was to change handicap at this point you would see it there 17 and 16 so you have all your information there um, we do say that it is now at the end of each um competition if you remember we print off the handicap sheet and we replace it in the folder beside the sign-in box there at the table in the dressing room so it is each player's responsibility to find out what handicap they're playing off like if Moninia had 38 points, she should reckon that she's going to drop. So if, it would appear on uh, Master Scoreboard and it would appear on GolfNet because both those results are published to um, Master Scoreboard and GolfNet. Okay, so, um, so at this point, um, you would click Publish up here. I'm actually not going to do that because I'm going to go back and undo it and close it properly because I don't want to, to see, have Marion to see her card being um, disqualified when it wasn't disqualified. But at this point, well, actually, do you know what? I will, and I'll just undo it very quickly then because there, you, you need to see some stuff here. So again, we're on to next. We're publishing to the wizard. So, well, actually, what I can do is, you see you here, you have publishing to GolfNet. And this is important yeah. because it's updating their handicaps on GolfNet. And it's also updating uh, information on master scoreboard as well so you can you can take those ticks out if you wanted to but um 
you don't. So you leave them in for the competitions that you'll be closing. Well, perhaps maybe when they're non-qualifying, although I think, to be honest, the ILG, you would like to hit, receive all competitions, whether they're qualifying or not. Mm. And another thing, just, just to, to note, that the ILGU and the GUI take note of or the ILGU is non-returns. If somebody hasn't returned their card, mm -hmm. they know that and they will actually come back at the end of the year and say, do you know Billy Joe didn't return her card five times this year? Mm -hmm. So, so, is it, so it's in, important to take record of those who haven't returned their cards. Well, the, the system will do that anyway. So we're going to, um, we're going to update to IL, the ILGU, GolfNet, and Master Scoreboard. I'm going to click next. And this is just a click next. And I click next. And I click next. And it starts updating people's details just automatically there in the background. Mm -hmm. Now, interesting. See, I, I, I really do think there's a GDPR issue here. I really do. But anyway, when somebody plays away, and I mean a game of golf, <laughs> um, the, the results, when they, you know, whatever system they, they, they come through here. So when we're updating here, um, they come in. So I, I know that Joanne Fox was in West Waterford on, on the 6th of September and she had 25 points, you know. Um, so, but anyway, so I apply that and I apply that to the golf. This, this is applying to Master Scoreboard. Fanula was playing with her, her sister. Do you know, I don't know. I really kind of, I feel funny about it, but anyway. Uh, so you may get people who have played competitions away, their scores coming in. So you just click um, apply or uh, next uh, because it is actually updating it to our master scoreboard and the ILGU. And it's sending it to the central system. My goodness. I'd hate to see how long it would take if there were 200 people playing. Exactly, Ashley, exactly. So I'll click next. So it's doing all this work in the background, but this is, well, it probably was stuff that was done manually before, like years ago, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um. Jeez, it's nearly fully dark outside and it's only 20 past eight. I know. I know. I know. And finish. So that's that bit done. Um, as I say, you will, not, you will not be left alone. If there was a bigger amount, like if there was 40, 50, 60, you know, I definitely would recommend that you have somebody with you, particularly on a Tuesday, um, if you can. Um, and, uh, but so, um, is there anything else in there? Can you think of anything else? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight back in here and undo that because, uh, and, and I'll close it properly then again. Okay. And sorry, Trish, can I just ask a question? Sure. When you do, when you do that, I mean, it's just something about Joanne, you were saying that, you know, if there are people playing all over the country, yeah. Or today, or today, for example, are 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 handicaps updated as well after that? Or yeah. is that? I'm well, just asking. Is you would be is, saying, question, oh, is it you just that? Comp sorry? sorry, sorry. Go on. What was the question, Marie? The question was: Was it, can you isolate the competition that you want to update the master scoreboard, or is it taking at seven at eight twenty past eight on the seventh of September? It's an update across the board. Do you, yeah. do you understand what I mean? It's not just the competition that you were working on earlier. It updates it across the board. Exactly. So when Westminstown go in to close their, say, their Monday competition today, or let's say their handicap secretary just goes in, she can actually um, publish to the ILG without actually having a, um, a competition open. But if she thinks that there's a lot of people playing in open competitions around, she can go in and all those. Um, people who were playing away today and the competition is being closed, all those scores will come in and she, she will update. 
Okay. 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 So I'm, just, I'm just curious, can you isolate just that competition or is it, a, 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 you know, across the board that when you across the board. Uh, update, update handicaps, it's as of this second for all competitions, for everybody who may be playing down the country or wherever. So it's updating everybody's handicap at a certain time of the day, is it? Um, yeah, yeah, but it, you have to do it. You have to initiate it. Okay. Uh, you can sit there in the background for a couple of days if you haven't initiated it for you. Yeah. yeah. So that's really Helen's job, Helen Conway's job to do that. Yeah. 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 What am I doing? Where am I going? I Did don't you? Know. It was a little note there from David uh, saying, best of luck tomorrow in the professional's prize. Um, so, um, so will we have a little look at the other competition just before we go into the website? Uh, You're recording now, you know that? Yes. Uh, okay. Actually, there it's opened twice again. I don't know what that is. So we can close it. We can close that. Uh, so have we changed Marion back from? No, but I have on. Okay. So she can't see that. Okay. To do the men's records. Yeah, there's okay. somebody. Who, so are you happy around. with that? Um, yeah, very, very, very much so. Yeah, there'll still be somebody with you, you know, um, to to, but um, but it's no harm to kind of go over it. So now, um, wait till I see. That's not where I want to go. I want to go into here. So we just now all we have to do is update it on the website. Um, so um, again, if you remember uh, up along here, this part, you will see login to Newland's website. I don't have it here because it's only on the laptop in, um, but you have login and what happens is I'm just going to You're going to get this. When you click on that, there's going to be a kind of a, an, an icon up here. And it will be, do you remember, does that look familiar? Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. So what we're doing now is we're getting into the website. So we've published um, the results to uh, Master Scoreboard. And to be honest, if I'm really honest, I, I, I don't see why we should be doubling up on you know, and I know this is recording, and it might be something that we look at, but I think we, so we posted on Master Scoreboard and we posted on the website. So we posted in two places. So do you remember this? We go into results and all results. Yeah, sorry, um, Patricia, what was the password there for results, ladies? It will be defaulted into it. Um, so, but okay, I'll, that's fine. It will be that's defaulted that's into it, Mary, yeah. Yeah. Right. Sorry. So this is the competition, but do remember, um, so we look for a competition that looks from similar. Do you remember this? Yeah, um, I do, and you have to fill it in and save um, as. So. We, first of all, we have to make a copy of it. We clone it. So this is a ladies 18 hole single Stapleford. So what we do is, I'm going to clone this because it can use it again. So, you click on clone. So what it's doing, it's making a copy of it, basically a copy of um, that post. And there you see it, it's a draft. Ladies 18 hole staple for draft. It created it there. So I am now going in to edit it. So if I edited that, that one has already been published to the internet. So I need to make a draft of it. And then I click on edit. So does this look familiar now? Can you, do you remember this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, so, you have so, and sometimes there might be ladies 18 and you might have to put in and nine. All single Stapleford, you might have to do that. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, so let's say, and then we come down to the body of it where the information is and we hover over it and we see the, the little pencil there. So we want to edit the table. So we, so there's Moninia. 
I don't know whether that's so. So we we would type in Moninha there, the seventeen and the thirty eight points, mm -hmm. and then we would save changes. Okay, and mm -hmm. then we would actually sorry we would just stay in there. Um, we're going to scroll down. Where is the? Here it is. We scroll down. Number of entrants we would put in if it changes. Um, of a Tuesday, it's 36, 46, 56, whatever. And then the standard scratch was 36 points. So we make all our amendments. You might have winner, see it's just winner handicap score there. Um, that was very simple to do, but you could have first place, second place, third place, you know. And then on the bigger days, you have all the categories. But there are templates there that you can clone and you, you just type over the names that from previous competitions, you know. But again, do not worry, you will not be on your own if you ever have to do anything bigger than like a, a 10 or 20 entrant um, competition. So you save your changes. Coming down, you do, it's a Stapleford competition. And if you look in there, there's a drop down. So was it singles, Stapleford, foursomes? Four balls, strokes, V power. So it 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 um it gives you a selection. So we're selecting state preferred. It was the sixth. Again, it'll yeah. pop today's date will be highlighted, but it was the sixth of the ninth. And then you type in the name of the winner and the number of yeah. points and her handicap. Remember all this. And then we scroll back up here. It's a ladies' competition because um, that will appear, you'll see that, I'll, I'll show you. So we come up to here and rather than publishing, just in case you really want, you want to check and see what it looks like on the system um, or on the website, it'll pop up. So there it is. So that's why it's, see here, that's why it's important to click the ladies because if you click the men's, it'll come up as a men's competition up here automatically. So it's a late competition and there's the results. And, uh, and then if you remember, you click on print because you want, to, you want to print off. We haven't been doing this too much because we haven't been closing in, in the office. But first of all, you want to, to download the PDF. Do you remember this? Yep. So yeah. you save it. Sorry. No, I'm just saying that was the kind of more like the old system. Yeah. You click on download and you, what will happen is it will default into the right directory and you just click OK to save it. OK. And then it opens. And you print off, what we had been doing was printing off four copies of this. One was for around the cards. One was for the notice board. And two were for uh, um, the results. Vouchers. Yeah, because that's where Nicola goes when she's actually giving out the prizes. She goes. So what's happening at the moment or what is happening now is that the office give out the prizes. So Nicola holds on to a copy and gives a copy to the office to do the prizes and to give out the, the vouchers. Um, so... That is it. And see, because we haven't really been in and people aren't in, they're not looking at the notice boards. We haven't really been putting them up on the notice board. But if you're there and you can, and if you have the time, do it. Um, actually, one thing I did forget to uh, say, and I'm just going to sign in here very quickly. Um, and that was how to print off the, um, the handicap list. Actually, there it is, look. So that's all updated with all the work that we've done. That There's the handicap list. Mm. All females, okay. In fact, I think you might even just have a, so there you go, and you can just print, okay. print that and, and put it in the, the folder that's beside the, the login, yeah. <laughs> so, Shine, any questions, guys? Is that um, that handicap list? Does that have to be run after every competition? Yeah. Okay. Is it not just that it changes the handicaps? 
Yeah, but it, if, if there are, re, well, even if there are reductions only, like you could be getting point one back, point two back. I I would suggest yeah, until unless they're okay. non qualifying. Okay. Yeah. And I think that's always been done, Trisha, at the, you know, after every competition, you know, Tuesdays or Sundays, it was always an updated handicap listing, even when it was on the old system, you know. So I think the most up-to-date uh, handicap list should always be available there in the office for all sorts of reasons, especially in the summertime when we're in, um, you know, inter-club competitions and that is that the, the managers need to know and check. I know you can do it in Handicap Master now, it's very easy, but yeah. I, think, I think it should always be there anyway, yeah. and updated. And updated, yeah, I think so. I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, that's um, great. Okay, um, so I'm going to stop sharing. So guys, um, is that all right? No, it's all right. I think thinking. ultimately it's, it's, it's getting back into the swing of it and doing it two or three times. Yeah. Because you know, it's a series of many little steps, but it's not rocket science, but when you're rusty, it just takes a bit of getting used to it again. Yeah, exactly. And, and to be honest with you, it's not even that, Ashley. It's just that you're, you don't really, you don't want to make a mistake. You want to no, know that's